Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back to another cooking episode on Cooking with Wayne channel. Today I have a cheque on the menu. In one of my first videos, I promised to teach you guys how to make a cheque and this is the video I'll be showing you guys today. So as you can see, I have two kind of a cheque. I have the frozen a cheque, which you're gonna want to tour like for it to defrost before you make it. As you can see, I've already defrosted mine and I have my box cheque back here. I have cucumbers, red onions, you can use your white onions. I have plum tomatoes or Roman tomatoes. Habanero pepper, um, plantains, and my fish back there. So these are all separate ingredients that you're gonna prepare separately, but at the end of the day, they're all gonna combine and make one great meal. So you're gonna use the pepper, the habanero pepper, to make your pepper sauce, and you're gonna use the plantains and fry separately. The fish gonna be fried separately, the achaca gonna be made separately, and these three, the tomatoes, the cucumber, and the onions gonna be joined together. It's gonna come out looking like tomato, cucumber, and onion salad, but if you don't want it like that, you can just put it on a plate separately. It's up to you guys. If you wanna learn how to make my pepper sauce, I have a video on my channel showing you guys how to make pepper sauce. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Just click on the link and learn how to make the pepper sauce. And for my achaca, I'm just gonna show you guys two different ways to make the achaca. You can make it on a stove, or you can make it in a microwave. So if you wanna learn how to make this delicious, tasty, beautiful ingredients or recipe today stay tuned and keep on watching here I have my tomatoes my cucumber and my onions I'll be showing you guys how to make your tomatoes cucumber and onion salad and how you can just slice it up and just put it on the side of the plate I'm using my potato peeler to just peel the skin off of the cucumber And this one, I'm gonna just use it to slice it up. My tomatoes here. You wanna get rid of this part? Add it to my cucumber and this one I'll just slice it up. And here I have my onions. Just slice it up. Over here, have added onions to the bowl. So, as you can see, I have two onions, tomatoes, and cucumber for you guys. So, I have the sliced one and I have the diced up one. This one, I'll be making the tomato, cucumber, onion salad, and this one just gonna go on a plate. So which means I'll be doing two platings for you guys to show you the difference between these two. With this one, you just want to add black pepper and salt. With my tad, how cool is this? Tad measuring spoon. I'll add black pepper to this. And I will use the same tad measuring spoon to add a salt. So 
So I'll set this aside and then next I'll move over to the acheque, which I'll be showing you the two ways how to make them. Yeah, check it is here in the pack. You just want to open the box and take this out. So you can make this on a stove top in a pot or you can make it in a bowl in the microwave. But today with this I'll be showing you guys how to make it on a stove. And then the first thing when I'll be showing you guys how to make it in a microwave. I'll be using half cup today. I'll just pour this in here. I'm using half cup, right? But it's gonna double in size. So you just wanna add this to your pot. And then measure this as well. And I'll add this to the bowl. Take some water. And you would do the same thing with this one. Take the water. Don't forget, little by little. You can always add more. See? You just want to mix it, check it with the water. Some people like to add salt or seasoning to that chicken. Personally, I don't like to add seasoning to my chicken. The reason is because you have all those on the plate, you have your pepper sauce that's already been seasoned and your fish that's already been seasoned. So adding seasoning to your achake, you might end up getting a salty meal. I already added the water. I would just turn my stove on and just add it to the stove. And this is like basically wet because it was frozen it already has its own water on it so you don't want to add more water to it I'll take this to the microwave and you want to cover it let me just do it for one minute and then I will check on it later. Once the one minute is out, you can take it out, stir it, and see if you need to add more water. But with this, you want to keep an eye on it and keep stirring. So I will check on my check here. See? I'm just gonna add a little more water. So let's say you add one minute to your to your checker in the microwave. You want to check on it every 20 to 30 seconds because you don't want it to get really hard in the microwave. You want to take it out, stir it, and add water as necessary, and then put it back in the microwave and finish up your one minute. You can take it off the stove and add water and stir it. I recommend using a non-stick pot for this because it won't stick to the pot. Now add it back to the stove. Check on my microwave. Check it. See how it double in size? I don't know if you can tell, but it did. Check out a little more water, and then this is gonna be the last water I add to this. You don't want to check it too soggy, so be careful how much water you add. I'll check this to the microwave. And add like 20 seconds to it. 
check on your tracker in the past add water if you need to little at a time turn your stuff I'm turning my stuff off because here right as you can see this double in size this is a check it this is how you want it not too soggy and not too dry okay take it off the stove now check my microwave check it check it This, the microwave jacket is okay. You just want to let it sit and cool down before plating. If it cool down, it's going to stick together. Just use a fork to like get them apart. And also add water to your spoon as you stir them. As you can see, this one is like sticking together. You just want to use a fork and fluff them out. Dip your fork in the water and just fluff it yeah so this is the checker in the pack right so you see the difference in color this is what you're looking for the color and also this is what you're looking for so if you look at both checker there is a color difference because this one is the dry checker and this is the frozen one See the color difference? Doesn't matter what the color is, you just want to make sure that your checker is not too hard. Like, because the cassava is dry and it gets hard, so you just want to add water. You're basically cooking it to soften it a little bit. That's the main purpose of cooking the checker. Next thing, I'll go ahead and show you guys the plating. So guys, look, this is it. Now that everything is ready, this is how it's gonna look. You have your pepper sauce over here, the tomatoes and cucumber, and your onions, and I have the tomatoes and cucumber onion salad. I have the box checker, the frozen checker, my fish and my plantains. So once you prepare everything, this is how it's gonna look. This is what I was talking about when I said everything gonna be separate. Right now they're all separated, but they're all gonna join together and make more great meals. If you making this with family for dinner, you can leave everything set up the way it was at first. But if you do dinner for two people and you want to make check it, you can just go ahead and plate it up like this. There you have it guys. This is your acheca with fried fish, plantains, pepper sauce, to cucumber, tomatoes, and onion salad, cucumber, tomatoes, and onions, and your acheca in the middle, your plantains, your pepper sauce, and your fish guys. This is the final product. This is how it's going to look once everything is ready. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a big old like, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below with any concerns and questions and let me know what you think of this video guys. This is like an Ivorian meal and a Liberian meal. Most country in Africa, I'm not sure, don't come at me, usually eat this, okay? I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks and I appreciate you guys. Bye!